Marc Chagall, one of the most influential modernist painters of the 20th century. We're going to take a look at him today and one of his most famous paintings. But first, let's take a look at where he comes from, his background, and all the things that made him who he was. He was born in 1887 in Vitesk, Russia, which is now Belarus. Um, there's a lot of border changes in that um, time of his life. And so um, think about how that may have shaped his perspective and how he shows that in his art. He was born of a Hasidic Jewish farming family, and he was the eldest of nine children. Again, think about how this will impact what you might see in his artwork. He lived in the U.S. from 41 to 48 after World War II, and he lived and worked in France for most of his life. Think about how his constant moving around might also impact his artwork. His unique style blended elements of cubism, symbolism, and fauvism, and he often depicted scenes from his childhood in the hometown that he grew up. So in his work, you can see uh, insights to his life on a farm and how that played a major role in his life. He used vibrant colors and floating figures. We'll take a look at those later um, when we look at Eye in the Village. And he incorporated elements of Jewish folklore and tradition. Again, pulling from his childhood and upbringing to influence what he put in his artwork. One of the major things that you are gonna see in Chagall's artwork is his use of symbolism. Symbolism is the use of icons or images to represent ideas or qualities. So it's drawing or painting objects to represent deeper stories with deeper meanings. He used recurring symbols in a lot of his pieces to evoke memories and emotions. His symbols often held personal meanings um, and you can see that through his work that we're going to take a look at. Um, and he had this dreamlike quality in a lot of his work. So I want you to think about that and how we can use symbols and dreamlike qualities to create pieces that tell our own unique story. We're going to briefly look at common symbols that you can see in many of Chagall's pieces. He includes a lot of flying figures which represent freedom and transcendence beyond um, what was going on at the time. Uh, violins and musical instruments symbolizing joy and celebration. He included animals a lot. Or remember, he grew up in a farming family, so those animals um, have that connection to a rural life and his childhood. He included goats a lot, um, so I imagine he had a lot of goats uh, when he was growing up. Couples he includes in his work, representing love and marriage, and he includes clocks, which represented the passage of time and mortality. These are just a few of the symbols that he uses throughout a lot of his pieces, but you can see them consistently across the board. All right, let's take a look at I and the Village. Chagall painted this in 1911. Um, we're going to go ahead and pause it right here, and I want you to think through these questions. Where does your eye go first? And what images do you see that might symbolize something deeper? Go ahead and pause and answer these questions. And I just want to point out a few of the items that... Chagall used as symbols. So the green-faced man is actually the artist himself. The upside-down village you can see at the top would be memories from his hometown. And then you can see the milkmaid inside the goat's face as a connection to the rural life. Now there's a ton of other symbols in here. You have the man with the scythe representing that farm um, childhood. You have an olive branch here at the bottom representing peace. And there's so many more things that you can find within the image if you just take the time to look and observe. See what else you can find. 
Okay, on to your challenge for this art project. You are going to compose a chalk pastel drawing of childhood memories and experiences that connect to your world. So this is a very personal piece. You wanna convey a dream-like atmosphere by varying sizes of your symbols and using arbitrary colors. Your colors do not have to be realistic. Think of that green-faced man um, that Chagall included. And figure out which colors are gonna tell your story best. You must include at least five symbols. You can include more than that if you like, but five is the minimum amount of symbols you must include. Now, making your piece personal is the most important part of this. You're not looking at a rough draft and copying it. You're making drawings of your own personal memories. Each artist has a unique story to tell. You all have unique backgrounds, childhoods, and experiences. And so when you are brainstorming your symbols, lean into telling that unique story. You want to create a truly meaningful piece. Now, I want to point out that all childhood memories are not always happy memories. You may have a lot of happy memories, but maybe you have some heavier memories and um, emotions that you processed when you were younger. Those difficult memories are truly what make you unique and they affected the way that you view the world. Please do not be fearful to include those difficult memories. I almost want to encourage you to include those and use this as a form of therapy and thinking through how those life events may have shaped you as a person. It is completely okay to include those difficult memories in your piece. Remember you're using symbols, so figure out how you can symbolize both the happy and the hard memories in your life. Okay, just to wrap up Chagall's importance in art history, he is one of the most influential modernist artists of the 20th century. Um, he died in 1985. He was 97 years old, and he ultimately lived in France up until um, that time. You can see I and the Village in New York City at the Museum of Modern Art, also known as MoMA. And the reason he is so influential is he paved a way kind of blending the surreal and realist realms of painting together. Um, and he pulled from his childhood. He was telling his own story, which was not always how art was done. So I hope you learned something new about Chagall through this. And I hope that you truly make a mark in the world through this artwork telling your personal story of childhood memories.